How do I play fast? I want to play fast. Um, well, in this video, we're going to discuss two techniques to practicing playing fast. They are dividing up a phrase into small chunks. And secondly, subdivision. So let's talk about this first um, technique, dividing it into small chunks. So let's say we have this phrase or lick that we want to play. Let's use the one that I just played at the beginning of this video. It's Charlie Parker's um, really famous lick that he uses loads. Um, this particular variation of that lick is in his tune Billy's Bounce and it's in the Charlie Parker Omnibook. Let's put it up here. So as you can see, it's made up of semiquavers or 16th notes. So how would we go about trying to play this really quickly? Divide it up into small chunks. So it makes sense to do it in uh, chunks that are relevant to the pulse. So let's divide it up into groups of four. So those first four notes, we practice just those first four notes until we can play them quickly. Okay, then we add the first note of the next group of four. Right? Then we practice the next four, starting on the note we just played, the, the D here. Okay, and then we add the next note until we can play that fluently. So we've got and and then we add them together. Okay, let's take the next four starting on the, the A or then the next four and then we add the first of the next group, the G. So we've got together. Okay, I'm racing through this. Obviously, it's going to take you longer. Make sure each group is fluent. Your brain has taken it in. Your fingers know what they're doing. You can play it fluently because the whole point of this is that you're you're making it easy for your brain and fingers to doing little bits at a time rather than going straight in and trying to do the whole thing quickly. Um, so, got there, we're starting on this G now. Um, and then we add the first note of the next group, the C sharp. So we got, then, 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 okay, next four, and then we add the next note, so, Right? I should say at this point, obviously there's going to be some fingering issues um, depending on what instrument you're playing. Um, here, the first A sharp, much easier to use the side key. And then the second um, B flat, same note, on the, the next group, much easier to use the button B flat. Okay, um, right, where do we get to? Right, so the next group. So we've got this little triplet bit in here. And we add the next note, the first note of the next group, which is the F sharp. 
okay? So we got, I quite like doing this, <laughs> this bit. Next, next. Next four. This is probably the tri trickiest one. So we're going down beyond the break. And then add the last note. So here we go. First four. Second. All very well if you've practiced that got to the stage where yeah I can play it fast that's cool um, there might be that when you get to play it um, all in one that you're not really happy with the um, evenness of it in groups of four it might not be nice and even nice and steady and even when it comes to playing it might be a bit uneven okay so a good technique you can do when you've got this um, semi quaver or 16th note long passage and it's not quite even you have to um, firstly when you're playing it um, the whole point of this chunk exercise is to think of it well we come to the subdivision part of this now where we're thinking of it in groups that make sense to the beat so in your head, you're you're kind of putting um, emphasis on the first group of every four. Okay, that's got to happen in your head for you to be able to play this accurately. Um, but another technique to get this evenness is to um, practice uh, the phrase dotted. really rumpty tumpty dotted and then switch the um, do it dotted the other way so okay had to leave out the triplet bit there um, what's the point of doing that? Well, you're kind of essentially playing double double time on every two semi quavers. There. You're playing really quick. And then by switching it round, you're playing the two that you haven't done quick, quick. So again, essentially your fingers and brain have played every combination of notes super quickly, just not in a row yet. So by playing it dotted, uh, and then the other way around, Okay, practice that loads and loads and loads, and then your fingers will have essentially played the whole thing twice as fast. Okay, and then it sh that should even out any any um, unevenness. Okay, so divide into small chunks, preferably that uh, are relevant to the beat, and subdivide it. So subdivision thinking of a pulse and being able to divide it in your head. Okay, being able to think of that and then put it into practice with a phrase. Good luck. This takes a lot of practice, um, but it'll take a lot, a lot less time if you use this method of dividing into chunks.
go for it. <laughs>